One of the people that only a handful of my current closest relations know is that during election time, I actually left the college campus to go out into the downtown, which is a sneeze if you miss it place, of Champaign, Illinois, where there's a marvelous little spot and a marvelous little uh, coffee shop to watch the election discussions and debates. All during that time when I was watching <clears throat> the discussion and the debates, someone was trying to hack my computer and literally impede my right to participate in American elections. When I typed in my Google search, you don't have the lawful right to do this and it's sort of a criminality and a felony to do this, they stopped. But what they didn't realize was someone pretty high was helping me to protect my computer and fighting against their hacking. Now I'm very fortunate to know that people up high know who I am because of my constant support and constant comment and constant idea producing brainstorming for the Democratic Party. And openly I want to participate in a lot more things but then the time of COVID came about. What I'd like to permit you to understand about my life is not really what's going on in my life at this present moment in time or not what went on in my life in the past moment of time. What I'm saying to you is what's going on for me is a total abuse of almost all of my human rights in an international world and a domestic, constitutional, legal, federally based world. The problem that I worry about the most is who's next and the thing that I think about best for America is that we currently have two presidents, basically a president and a vice president, who are lawyers. And the future of America is really in the hands of those lawyers. The future of America is really in the fact that, let's face it, Joe Biden is getting up there in years and he might be plum tuckered out after his stint as once as vice president to Obama and now earned with truth of his career from his experience and his seasoning that he gained the White House because of who he is as a person and a professional and a lawyer. But the reality of life is that he may be too old and may not want to continue on next time around as president. So the beauty that we have right now is that the vice president is also a lawyer and that he can confer with her in a proper professional relationship about the laws of America, the things that are impacting people in their daily living, and how we as America need to go forward. 